Hi everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be painting a tiny little brown trout and we're starting right now. First of all, we're gonna start with a white base coat. Next we're gonna use some pearl gold. I like to use wicked pearl gold for this and I'm not gonna thin this down so I'm gonna shoot it straight from the bottle. And if you find it difficult to shoot this straight from the bottle, just use more air pressure. This is an Iwata Eclipse with a 0.35 needle and I'm shooting at about 35 to 40 psi. Now that the golden base coat is dry, I'm first going to create a little bit of texture, some underlying color. If you look at our reference picture, you can see there's a lot of underlying dark brownish tones underneath those spots. So we're going to create that first. And we're going to do that with a little bit of a wash. So I'm going to use oiled earth from Vallejo. I apply it a little bit with a paintbrush. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna wipe it off a little again. You can also use a little bit of water. Just water. Like so. So I just thin it down with a little bit of water and then wipe it off immediately with a paper towel and then you create that soft transition you lose that sharp edge that you had before here it is again so I still got water in my in my paintbrush just thin it down and clean it up There you go. I see that the sun started to shine through onto my camera. Let me see if I can fix this. Now if you look at the reference picture then you can see that the belly is quite yellow. So for that yellow I'm gonna use Vallejo Sun Yellow which is a perfect match in color. And we're just gonna try to put on a light layer of that on the entire belly and a little bit of the sides. Vallejo is very easy to use just straight out of the bottle. Now if you look at another reference picture you can see that some of these brown droughts have this bluish kind of sheen and effect going on on the gill plate and I want to recreate that even though it's a really tiny lure we're working on right now I do want to give that that little bit of extra that little extra edge on there so I'm gonna try to recreate that bluish texture that's underneath the spots. And for that I'm gonna use a little bit of Wicked Laguna Blue. And I'm gonna try to create a little bit of a blue color on the gill plate. And now I'm gonna use a technique that I learned from a guy who paints fish trophies. I never tried this technique before myself. He uh, just briefly showed me how to do it. But yeah, we need to experiment and we, we gotta give this a try. So I'm gonna grab some Wicked Pearl Bright Blue, which is a really light pigmented uh, pearl blue. It's very fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply a little bit on there with a paintbrush. And then with a dry paintbrush, I'm just going to try to spread it out and make it very subtle and just maybe stipple it on there, create some texture and make it very subtle. That's the idea, so let's see how that goes. So I'll grab my, my palette here, I shake this very well. Just need one tiny drop. I'm gonna make this paintbrush a little bit wet just so it soaks up the paint a little a little thinner so I'm gonna put on some wet paint and 
Now I'm going to try to feather it out with a dry brush. Now the next step is the underlying color for the dots, for the black dots. Um, and I actually never done this before because I somehow never noticed that there are lighter spots underneath the dark spots. I always skipped that step and just went to the dark spots and started to apply dark spots immediately. And to create a realistic brown trout pattern you can actually see very well in some reference pictures such as this one that there is actually an underlying lighter spot underneath that black spot and that creates that beautiful pattern and somehow I always missed that and it's actually very obvious now you look at it but um, so yeah we're gonna do that for the first time and I'm gonna do that with my airbrush and um, you can you can use white for this but I'm actually gonna use wicked opaque cream because I want it to be a little bit more creamy I don't want it to be too white and I don't want it to stick out too much it needs to blend in with that pattern and we might even go with a little bit of transparent brown over there on the top of the of the lure but those are tiny details and those will work out themselves we'll see how it goes now this is a very tiny lure so the spots might be a little bit out of proportion because it's going to be really difficult to get them that small. I can use my detail airbrush, but I'm going to do it with my what I eclipse with the 0.35 needle anyway, and I think I'll manage with that and try to put really tiny spots in there. Now we want this opaque paint to be transparent. You can use a lot of thinner and just over reduce it but it's gonna make it very very runny as well it's gonna make it like water and as you all know if you try to airbrush water from up very close you're just gonna blow it out and it's gonna spider web all over your lure and you don't want that so how I do this is I'm gonna grab some paint now first I always like to start with reducer I grab a little bit of reducer let's say three drops and now I grab some 40 11, uh, and now I grab some 40 50 a quite generous amount and that's the trick that 40 50 is actually going to thin down your paint so now I'm just going to use one drop and see how that goes And now with a tiny bit of wicked detail sepia reduced with some 4011 I'm just gonna darken that back and a little bit of those upper white spots a little bit and now we're gonna do all the black spots onto our white spots now if you have a bigger lure and you airbrushed wider or bigger spots on there you can use your airbrush to put on the smaller black spots and by doing that with an airbrush that's going to give you the best result it's going to look very clean and also very realistic but this lure is just too small and I don't want to risk it ruining it by uh, trying to paint black spots and getting uh, spider webs all over the place so I'm gonna do this with a paintbrush so the black spots are gonna be a little bit more present 
So I'm gonna use these two tools. This is just a regular paintbrush with a fine tip, which I can do really nice spots. And this little tool is a ballpoint tool. So it's got tiny little balls at the end of it. And it's really great for stippling. It's also great for texturing or uh, when you're using foils to, put, to push foils into crevices and uh, get details out again. But uh, I like to use it to put on little dark spots as well. So I'm gonna use these two for bigger and smaller dark spots. Now if you really want to go next level on this lure, you can paint some fins on there or use these stickers. These stickers are also available in my web shop. They have really amazing quality. and you never have to be afraid to paint a fin again. This never fails. So I'm gonna make sure that I align them really nicely. Ready for a clear coat. Alright guys, our lure is finished and I have to say it was a really fun pattern to paint. I really love brown trouts, they're beautiful fish, they're very interesting. I think next time I need to work on those white spots behind the black spots. They need to be a little bit more present, a little bit closer together uh, and I think more spots is gonna make the lure yeah, look better in my opinion. But overall, I am really glad with the result. Too bad the camera doesn't pick up all the pearlescent effects on the lure, but uh, other than that, it looks really cool. Maybe a little bit less of that blue on the gill plates as well next time. It might be a little bit too much right now, uh, too big of a spot, but uh, yeah, it's special, it's unique, and it just makes this one stick out a little bit more from the rest, so I really like that. As always, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used to paint this lure. And this will guide you to my web shop which is based in Sweden and if you buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel. If you got any questions, suggestions or you want to share some knowledge with the lure painting community, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye!